As we approach the Lord's Supper, I would like to begin with a personal story. I was born where I could not stay. My birth mother had tuberculosis, and the state of California required that I be removed from the house. I was handed to a social worker, and family connections were lost. Someone took me in. It was not my merit, it was their grace. Mother Daly gave me her name, and I grew to manhood knowing nothing about my birth family. I appreciated the care, and after I married, enjoyed Lois's family, having little heritage of my own. When I was 80 years of age, our grandson, Todd, located my birth mother's family based on my birth certificate. We all got together here in Vancouver and spent parts of three days getting acquainted. No comments from my mother have survived. All we have is a couple of simple photos, and we keep these on the refrigerator door. She seemed such a pleasant lady, it would have been a privilege to know her. My second birth came about because God, in the form of Jesus, was tortured to death, but rose again from the grave after the third day. We have lots of comments from him written down by those around him. We don't have any photos, but we know his heart, and that's even more important than a photograph. He wants me to adjust my life to live as he lived. He wants me to have the same values he had and make decisions like he made decisions. He wants to be honored for what he did for me and for all the rest of us. He wants us to be remembered. He wants to be remembered for what he did for us, and that's why we are remembering him this morning. The loaf is a reminder of his body uh, that suffered incredible pain to pay the debt of my sins. The cup is a reminder that his suffering went beyond uh, pain all the way to death itself. He died a physical death and was separated from the Father, so we will not have to die the second death and be separated from the Father forever. We are of such value that God was willing to enter our history, become one of us, and die so we would not experience eternal death. For this I am eternally grateful. This is what we're remembering right now as we come to the passing of the emblems. Let's uh, bow our heads in prayer. A righteous Father, we do thank you that you have saved us from our own past. That even though we have each sinned, yet Jesus died to cover those sins and pay the penalty so that we could be your children, adopted into your great family, that will inherit in heaven forever. We're thankful for these promises written down in your word. We're thankful that we can know something about your heart and we can do the best we can to live the way you want us to live. Again, we are thankful for the loaf and the cup that remind us of what you have done for us and what we should be. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen.